Cardi. Okay, Mike here, Lush Planet Micro Farms. Uh, just a simple build that we did for our uh, winter greens that we actually grow in the summer because we're in uh, we're in a coastal climate where we can still grow winter greens in the summer. So this is the north southernmost side of our property that actually gets blocked from some of the large trees that we have, which you can't see or that are up on the hill. Um, real simple design, just uh, three layers of old redwood decking, two by four post, nailed together, filled it with dirt. We decided we like this little L-shaped design. That was uh, my partner Kristen's contribution. Um, and we just filled it with some, some nice compost, mixed soil. Uh, these, are, these are about uh, two weeks out, so they're doing really well. Um, let's go over here. So you might be wondering what some of these are. They're actually not functional right now, but they're beer traps. So let's move over to another bed here, and I'll show you the beer traps in action. So if you look down here, I'm going to hold the beer trap up. So we do use the beer traps for slugs and for, um, what are they called again? Earwigs. Earwigs, sorry, blanked, my brain blanked there. So if you look at this damage here, we noticed that the earwigs were damaging some of our mustard plants. So then last night I set out this beer trap and we caught, you know, something like 15 small earwigs. I got another trap over here. If you look at this one, we got another, oh, say seven or eight small earwigs. So they really work. Another, let's walk over to another part of the garden, one of our other annual beds. So if you just pan out to this part here, Kristen, you can you pan out to here. In our general design, this is more of a perennial beds in the centerpiece. We do have some annuals interspersed in here. And then if you come back over this way, we'll see uh, more of our annual beds over here. So, like I stated earlier, we're in a coastal climate, so we can grow uh, winter greens pretty much all summer long. Uh, it does get hot, so we do need some bolt resistance sometimes. But what I want to bring your attention to is um, these copper coils. This was an old copper pipe out of a house remodel that we did that we, I cut down to size and we use this so that the snails when they hit the copper they get an electrical shock and they don't like to go any farther and they leave the plant alone. So if you look at the bed here we have virtually no snail damage. Uh, last year we got completely decimated by the snails. Also we have the beer traps interspersed. We did use some sluggo. Uh, the beer traps are kind of watered out because of the watering and we've had such good success with the coils, the beer traps. And then this winter we also let our chickens roam in the garden and they really reduced our slug population. Um, I think that's it. So let's kill that one.